How do you fight that? Well, you know, by getting on Larry King and uh, telling everybody I'm a Christian and I wasn't raised. Larry <laughs> King has interviewed everybody who's you know, anybody and he credits his successful you know, career to his you know curiosity, to wanting to know more and learn more. He eventually had a quintuple bypass what, what and it? that Some journey sort of turned him into an earnest advocate for heart health. He's in Toronto today to participate in the annual Canadian Cardiovascular Congress. Great pleasure to have you in studio. Thank you for coming in. No, usually we do it by, by satellite. satellite. I know, we're gonna, and we've done that a couple of times. In well, it's very time nice and... to be here. I love Toronto. It's one of my favorite cities. I love Canada. I love the Canadian people. I love everything about this. I love the culture here. It's a very unusual place. I like Toronto. I like Montreal. I like western part. I love Even Vancouver. watched the Blue Jays for us when they were in it, too. Well, I, I'm a big baseball nut. I'm a Dodger fan. Yeah. And uh, I rooted for the Blue Jays because I've always liked the team. I know the manager a long time, and they're a great group of guys. But uh, with the World Series, I'm for the Mets because I'm a National League fan. And yep. Went to high school with Fred Wilpon, who owns the Mets. And so I know most the of the Mets. guys on the team. And well, your sons, too, because they're big baseball players. My two boys are, well, they're, they're players. Yeah, one's the one, there they are. Look at that. That's a great shot. Hard to believe I created that. <laughs> And, uh, but the boy on the right, it's, that's Chance, and he goes to IMG Academy in uh, Bradenton, Florida. He's a pitcher. The boy on the left is Cannon. Good names, huh, Chance They're and great. Cannon? They're great. He's a third baseman at Beverly Hills High School, and they're both, the colleges are looking at him already. I'm very proud of them. I guess so, you and Sean both. Tell me about being here in Toronto right now and taking part in the Cardiovascular Congress. Well, I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to speak at that Congress today, and then I'm going to moderate a panel. I'm brought here by the Sanofi Company. Right. And they do so much in the world of heart health. I'm a big fan of, of uh, companies like Sanofi that, um, you know, pharmaceuticals get wrapped a lot. But they uh, have kept me alive. Uh, when I had my heart attack and heart surgery yeah. back in 1987, it was pharmaceuticals the first that saved my life when I had a heart attack. And I take my, I take my pills every day. So I'm a firm believer that uh, combined with uh, good eating and thinking about mm -hmm. health, which I never did before I had a heart attack, and the people like Sanofi and other companies that make products that make us better. It completely changed your life. It's hard to be, I can't, I, I, was, oh. I was looking over and I thought, I can't believe it was 1987, it was that long ago. I mean, you know, 28 some odd years. And look at you, you're in great health now. Well, look at me, before that, I smoked three packs a day. Wow. I never thought about what I ate. And, and in fact, when I would see commercials like Yul Brenner, the mm -hmm. great actor, he did a commercial that ran after he died. And it said, I'm dead now but I smoked, don't smoke. When, I, when that commercial would come on, I would hit the clicker, because oh. I wouldn't want to see it. You don't want to. I was in denial. It's chilling. Remember they had warnings on cigarette yeah. packs? I, still, I haven't had a cigarette in all those years. When I would read the warnings, I would get the one that says, uh, not to take during menopause. <laughs> <laughs> I think it ain't gonna bother me. Yeah, hey. you're fine now. Yeah. So um, it, you're awfully busy, obviously, with your family life and your um, satellite show that you do with Sean. I, I wanted to ask you about because there's a, an interview being released today you did with Donald Trump. Yes. Tell 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 us. Well, about I know I know the Trumpster as we call yeah. it. I know the Trumpster for um, maybe 30 years. I've interviewed him many times. Mm -hmm. Newman Brooklyn. I did shows with him in Atlantic City at his hotel. We did shows together with him, me, Don Rickles, Bill Cosby. Look at that. I have a long career with Donald Trump. Uh, I've spoken at events for him at my Largo down. He's, he's an interesting guy. He's got an enormous ego, as everyone yes. knows. Uh, in fact, the story goes that uh, uh, when they get in bed at night, his wife said one night, uh, God, it's cold, and he said, "You can call me Donald." Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> <laughs> but on the flip, but you know, what? I mean, he goes through this campaign. He has, you know, outrageous things to say, and he's got traction with a certain population. Well, because he's appealing to, I guess, thirty percent of the population, which sadly may feel now Donald's really not that way. He's not more liberal than he's letting on. You know, he, he in fact, he favors a health care system mm -hmm. similar to Canada's, single payer. Um, but he's, uh, you know, he got off on this immigrant thing. I asked him a question. It was very surprising. I asked him, uh, 
Donald, supposing there was a, a, a man came to you and he said, I, I came here from Mexico 20 years ago illegally. I worked in the fields picking grapes. And uh, now I'm the foreman of that company. <laughs> And these people work for me. And my son is a baseball player in high school, an A student. And my young daughter's just going into high school. She's a gymnast. My wife has gone back to college. Do you want to deport me? And his answer was, I don't want to answer the question. And that was that, because he know, like, he's done with that. How does he answer? Wow. So uh, I don't think, but he's caught on to something. And when Donald catches on to something, he rides it. Uh, do I think he'll get the nomination? No, but uh, uh, what I would have said a month ago, absolutely no. Now I would say maybe. Really? Well, look at it. You know, there's 15 guys running. Jeb Bush has not gotten any traction. Rubio is coming along, yeah. but he's a freshman senator. Yeah. And he hasn't attended the Senate a lot. His, his, he doesn't show up a great deal, so he's got things against him. Uh, Dr. Carson, he's in another world. I mean, he's a great brain surgeon, but he says some things that are America's a Nazi well, country. It's quite a race. So this you is... can enter that gap. But right now, they're, they're, in my opinion, yeah. they're making it easy for Hillary. Uh, she's come on in the last two weeks, did great in the debate, did great in the hearings the other day. She's very formidable. So I'm, not saying kind of on... I'm not saying unbeatable, no. but formidable. But at the moment, you're going with the, you're, so Hillary at the moment and the Mets in the World Series. Hillary and the doing? Mets and better heart. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking forward to this today because yeah. I like meeting doctors. I like meeting professionals. I like meeting companies. Well, and you've that... got a great message to share. And thank you so much for coming and sharing your time with us this morning. That's it. That's it. I know. I don't get to I do the. I wish we had an hour. I don't get to do the weather. <laughs> If you want to, I'm sure there'd be a time you can come back and do that for us. That'd like be awesome. Come, I'd like to come back up to Canada and for a week okay. be the weatherman okay. on this program. Okay. You're on. You got it. Okay. Great to see you. I like the necklace. Thank you. You can find a link to Larry's internet channel on our website at canadaam.ctvnews.ca. Up 